let's continue the function okay earlier we just created a simple method which will simply print the hello python okay let me create a as I, as I mentioned function can return something okay so how do I do that okay let me create another method define test one okay so the first method which we written test it is not returning anything it's just simply printing the data okay the statement which we put it in the test method it's just printing it it is not returning actually so in order to return something you need to use the return statement return and use statement as I said earlier hello return got it let me run this test one see we got the data but the both the times what is happening is I got the same data but what is the difference okay since this method is returning a response back to us I can store that in a variable okay x is equal to test 1 nothing is printed the reason is the response is stored in x if you print x you can see the data can we try the same for the first method yes we do well, let's y is equal to test it is printed but when you print y you got nothing because hello python is it is just printed the statement which we written into the method actually it is not returning any response back so that is the reason when you try to call this method the print statement has been printed in the console but there is nothing stored in the variable because there is nothing returned from this method if something is returned from this method it will be stored in the variable got it let's try another uh, way of example so far I created a method and I returned some response back okay let's pass some parameter into it so I'm going to create a method define I can call it a test 3 and I'm passing a variable here name sorry so I'm going to return something here return hello my name is format name so when I call this method it will return some data if you want we can store the data in the variable but I'm not I don't want to store it into a variable I'm just executing it test three so what is happening here I call the test method but the problem is I forgot to mention the parameter so what I need to do is test three and I need to pass the input like Sam let's run this now we got the response back with the outcome hello my name is Sam if you want you can again store it into a variable and you can pass some different parameter like uh, instead of Sam you can pass Colson and if you print X hello my name is Colson so far so good what else we can do okay I can we pass multiple parameters yes it is possible okay let's do that I'm going to create another method define test 4 and it is going to accept two parameters 
like first name and the last name so what we can return inside again I'm going to return something okay return my first name is and my last name first name and last name okay done so I have passed two parameters and I frame some literal and I'm returning back now I'm going to call it test for and we need to make sure there is two parameters for test for method I can pause it in a order okay the first name becomes the first parameter and second parameter becomes the second parameter which is nothing but this is a default arguments Okay, you can now change the order so the first name is Phil and the last name is Colson so what is happening here what is wrong let's see okay that is my bad the method itself it is wrong can you guys find out what is the issue here I got my input first name last name and I append those information into my response but if you see here first name and it has to be the same it is a capital letter yeah and so I need to modify it here last name that is why you need to be very careful first name and the last name okay let's try now Phil and Carlson. We got the data. My first name is Phil and my last name is Carlson. You might have thought, okay, what will happen if I modify the order? Can you do that? Yeah, we can give it a try. Test four. Carlson and it's still accepted the reason is the parameter which is passing both of them are string so there is no way to identify whether this is the first name or last name okay but in case if you have a different kind of data type maybe the my first parameter is string my second parameter is integer then we will end up with an issue okay how I'm going to man manage this we can do that because this is where we come into the another argument type called named arguments even even though if you change the order using the named keywords you know the named key right this is the input parameter name okay first name equal and last okay this should be last name in first name it got worked my first name is Phil and my last name is Carlson okay if you don't provide this named parameters which you used in the method the first name these two are called the named arguments if you can use the same thing in your method where you are calling the method okay so in that case you don't need to maintain the order because we have indication this particular first argument belongs to last name and the second parameter belongs to first name okay okay we'll try something else I ha I can have a method which has a different arguments both of them different types for example 
name and age. Okay, I'm going to add another method, test5. It will take name and age. Okay, I syntax issue to find test5 and uh, it will accept name and age. So return my name is and I am yes old what is happening Okay, syntax issue. Did you guys find out what is the issue here? See the return statement. It is still in a black letter. It is not a keyword. Because it has to be T-U-R and I made a, sp a spelling mistake over there. See, now it turned into orange. Let's try to run the method. Test 5 and I'm going to pass. My name is Daniel. And I am 55 years old. See, it is working fine. What will happen if we flip the parameters? Fifty five and Daniel. See, it is clumsy. My name is fifty five and I am Daniel years old. Because there is no way we can identify what is that input which I am getting it and which belongs to which argument. So these kind of places, the only hope is our named arguments. We can simply maintain something like that. Test 5, you can maintain the same order. Age is equal to 55 and name is equal to Daniel. Now it will identify because I do have an indicator saying like the first parameter even though in the original method declaration age is my second parameter but since I used a named argument here it will identify this belongs to the second parameter. Cool. My name is Daniel and I am 55 years old. Good. So far so good. Okay. In the next video we are going to um, write a simple application or simple program to validate or to validate a user to get in the username and password and validate and send back the response to the client whoever is requesting. Thank you.